Well, there's me. Um, it is a little bit brisky today, as in brisky, as in bit bit windy if you know what i mean welcome if you've just tuned in if you've uh, clicked on this and you're seeing this happy smiley face with chiseled in character and stuff like that well yep you're watching Vern C fishing if you don't like fishing you will after you've watched me so uh, it's all free it's all free and uh, don't forget to click subscribe ring that bell for notification and uh, if you don't want to do that because you think what a rambling idiot then uh, thank you for the view because that's all you can ask for isn't it so uh yeah we're here fishing again it is windy there's not a lot i can do about that it is supposed to die a little bit when i last looked at the weather but it's just the way it is i was hoping as i said in the last video that i was going to be fishing on the beaches well saturday come and i checked the weather report and it's probably wrong it's probably flat calm but it's a long way for me to travel it said that the swell was one meter to 1.1 to 0.9 and uh, i won't go in on the holdness coast and fishing in that so what i shall do is when it's all a lot more calmer and stuff you will see me over there on that beach um or beaches should i say and uh yeah it's just Let me get you there. Yeah, so that's, you'll see me over there then. So uh, yeah, I'm sorry I lied to you. Sorry the things have changed and stuff like that, but I'm air fishing and to be honest, my hip's still buggering me about it. It's not ever gonna get any better until it's fixed. And uh, I'm here because it's, it's good for me. So uh, hopefully in the next week or so, I'll be down on the beaches. I've got some new plastic tubs to put in my bait bag to get some live worms to the beach in one piece, which is smaller than the box that I use at the minute. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But we're here today. We're on the River Humber. We're at my uh, favourite mark that some people take great pleasure in trying to destroy, but, you know, you just have to take the pinch of salt and make it make allowances for people, don't you? So... But I'm here. Hopefully we'll catch another cod. Now, you know that I blanked on the cod on session 13. I picked the wrong night. It's a it's a boo-boo night for me with a full moon. And, uh, yeah, it just didn't go to plan, did it? But what a crack and run I had. 12 sessions. I'm thinking about it now, and I'm actually thinking what I achieved or what I was luckily enough allowed to keep catching by the fish gods and yeah it's been it was absolutely great up to now i've caught 31 cod and codlin two cod but i've caught in total 31 codlin and two cod which is the species yeah what am i going on about i've caught 31 cod or if you want to say codlin codlin it's i've caught 31 of them anyhow and yeah as long as i get that across to you 31 up to now it's absolutely fantastic i had to go through and count them all but um yeah i've got a new rig tied i did it last night i've got two up flappers on i've got 20 yellow tails i've got the vaselli's cobras caged up what am i doing cut for intro <laughs> i think tom would have put it in by now wouldn't he But yeah, I'm fishing the Vaselli Oxygen Cobra KWs. I've got my pen spin fishers, which today, of all days, I've got new line on my reels. The first time I've ever had this color on, I have this color on my um, pen fathoms, but I've put it on air, 24 pound mono. There you go. I've got a 20 pound to 80 pound tapered leader. And uh, yeah, so it's absolutely brilliant. They look quite nice in yellow. I was a bit given the EBGBs a bit because I've always had red line on there and now it's gone to yellow, but we'll not talk about that anymore because we don't keep repeating ourselves, do we? So uh, yeah, that's, that's the setup at the minute. I've got a bit of squid, some black lug and carp, but I've got 20 worms to use. So that's what we're using. 
hope we catch, eh? That's what I'm looking forward to. It's, it's so nice catching cod and codlin. The big ones will be in soon, but also it's probably coming to an end. But in my last video, you saw I caught codlin. Um, it was looking a bit dicey. I think I got two in that one, plus a flounder. Um, chuffed to get a flounder, but yeah, let's, uh, let's catch some more codlin. I shall when I can get, but see, that was the other thing. I couldn't get bait for Saturday morning either. So um, what I shall do is when I've got the bait and the weather's right, the swell is right in the sea, I shall be going to the beaches and let's try and catch codlin there. We've done the challenge here. We got to 12 and uh, it's fantastic, really. Absolutely fantastic. Something I thought I'd never, well, I'll tell you now. Didn't even think I'd ever do it, to be honest. Right, look what I got back on. I've got me new coat back on. So, what happened? Well, I had my shelter, my rods, and my tripod all go together with bungee cord. And the bungee cord, hang on a sec, this is my bungee cord, well, that's what I've got for now. Um, these bits here and there, as I put the rod on my shoulder and pushed the rod up, it gathered in on my shoulder and it was that sharp on the edges that it just tore my coat. It was only like three mil, but it was a hole and it would have got wet in there and let in rain. Well, good thing with reed chill cheaters are, you can send them back. Phone up, um, I spoke to Julie. You can get their phone number, they're on the uh, internet or if you buy it through Veals, you can ask uh, Harry or someone from Veals for the phone number. Anyhow, I phoned Julie up. Look, cut a long story short, I sent this in um, and they've repaired it. Simple as that. Where that little bit of black is there, that's where the hole was. They've stuck a little tiny black patch on it and that was it. And I said to him, you couldn't put a reed sticker over it, could you, just to hide it? Because I ain't bothered what angle it is or anything. So then they stuck the sticker on. And I've also had, you see, you see these, these do glare a bit at night on the camera, but I've got two squares on the back. So that when I'm on the beaches at night time and it's cold or raining, when I walk down to the shore with all my lights on, you'll pick up the back of my coat and you'll be able to see where I am. Um, because sometimes you have to walk a long way away. And that cost six pound odd plus postage absolute i cannot believe what they've done for me they've they do fix all the clothing so if you was to buy it and tear it they'd fix yours and they'll always fix it so that's why i bought this coat and the salopettes because if they get damaged they'll repair it obviously if i end up like a postage stamp with them everywhere then it might be time to get a new one but yeah i can't believe that they repaired it and for six pound odd plus postage of just over a tenner um yeah sent me it back that's fantastic i also bought the thermal top and bottom that you wear underneath and oh my god are they hot i bought them and today it's sunny it's not that cold i'm just put this on to cut the wind out and now i'm getting hot so it is warm but even though i got the right size it's the undergarments are very tight and uh, it's like wearing last uh, uh, electric uh, less elastic stock that's the word elastic stocking so uh, not that I wear stockings um, I can only imagine what they're like but yeah they're a bit clingy so I'm gonna send them back and get the next size up so um, I bought got the socks as well they uh, give me give me some socks so uh, I got the socks as well so yeah absolutely fantastic service I said I'd review this jacket Yes, it's a bit annoying it tore, but it was my fault. This was sharp and I shoved it up, caught in my coat. Um, the coat does stretch. So if you do catch it on something that isn't sharp, it shouldn't damage it. But because it was sharp, it just put a little tiny tear in it. But it's all repaired. It's fantastic. I could have done it in a normal coat and tore that kind of, but it, I didn't. It's at the moment i am absolutely chuffed to bits with this coat um i may try the bottoms on depends if it gets cold but i don't think it will so i'm gonna send the 
undergarment back I'll phone her up tomorrow send that back and get the next size up and just apologize that I'm a bit portly it fits me I've had the top on it fits me but it's you're like sucked it hey it might make me look a bit slimmer for the ladies God, I didn't think of that oh for might make me look slimmer for the wife yeah so might try it on again and just double check but now absolutely fantastic service British company they're based down in Devon or Cornwall I think it's Devon I'm not sure anyway it's down that neck of the woods that's all you need to know you just pick the phone up talk to them and uh, buy it through Veals or contact them direct and well they sold me the undergarments I presume you can buy the coats and that I'm not sure but start off at Veals um, or ring Chill Cheater but when you buy it and you damage it you need to ring Chill Cheater absolutely fantastic service thank you very much Julie much appreciated and I have bought all this myself and the undergarments and everything else like I do everything in life including the wife's beer the wife's stout she likes a pint of stout as my wife um, we went out for a drink the other day in Lincoln she was drunk stout till the cows come them. so yeah I pay for the lot even my own rubbish ruddles bitter that weren't nice I didn't I ain't buying that again I'll tell you and I only bought that because it was a reasonable percentage of alcohol didn't want to get absolutely hammered and uh, yeah I didn't enjoy that at all anyhow tide tide is coming in probably got another half an hour and then I can cast out the lads down there that chap there is with his dad he's round the corner I think but he's already had a small coddling he's chucked it back top drawer to him and the other two lads I think they've caught I'm not sure but they were right out in the water there's rocks down there amongst the mud and they walked down there and fished it at right at low water in fact one of the lads with the waders on he ain't there now um, he was actually in the water so it ain't something I would do but yeah so there's people fishing like he's caught another fish he's now returning that see I should be fishing now shouldn't I but I've got all this mud here look that's why they went down there because they know but I don't think I can uh, I don't think I can walk on them rocks. He's just nearly fell over. He did the splits, like a man splits, you know, where one leg goes and the other leg stays there, and then he put his hands down and stopped himself. Now, if that happened to me, I'd be crying. I'd be absolutely crying. I think they've got a fire going at the fire. I'm gonna go and stink in the smoke. Yeah, he's got a fire going. Wind's blowing right this way as well. It's unfortunate, isn't it, but hey, you. Get smoke damage on me coat. I have to go and wipe this coat, you know. Can't I can't not not wipe it. It's got to be looked after now, because um, I'm not doing the same as with my other coat. Now you saw me in my other coat in the last video because I put an hole in this and sent it off. But what fantastic service that um, Reeds have done for me. Oh, I'll sit down because of my hip. That Reeds have done for me. It's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Isn't it? In, isn't it? It is, yes, yes, you're right. I thought you was listening, drinking that tea and eating that cake. I don't know. So, we're here. I shouldn't get washed off here. I talked to a couple of locals. Had a bit of a chat with them. They're in the next spot down. Um, they were going to fish down there on the beach. Matey boy at Fellover has got a uh, mud all over his ass, So he certainly did uh, touch down. <laughs> I didn't laugh. I didn't laugh actually. I just thought, oh, if that was me, my hip would hurt. But there you go. That's it, isn't it? So there you go. Don't forget to check out Danny Shaw fishing, my old mate down south. He's had a bit of a disaster at the minute with his shelter. A wave hit it and broke his igloo. He's had it years. I don't know. Good job he didn't sell it to me when I asked him. Because I said, Do you want to sell that and you get a new one? <laughs> Or else that would have been a new one and not his old one that had got broken. But I've told him uh, to fix it and I said to him also, don't throw it away. I like that blue. It's a lovely colour blue. We've changed the blue now. I've got the blue on air, but 
I think the blue has gone darker now. It's just, I'd rather get another, if I got another one, I'd rather get an old one because uh, they used to do them in royal blue and red, but not anymore. It's, I think it's the black one and the dark blue one. Next, it'll be bloody camouflage, won't it? Was it be right if it was a um, sandy camouflage, but on the beach, I suppose. But we don't want that. We want reds, don't we? Don't want yellow because they get covered in flies. You want red or blue. Anyway, where am I going? Yeah, check out Danny Shaw fishing. He's a uh, he's a good lad, and he's a nice lad, and he's not even bothered if you watch the videos. Just subscribe. Don't even have to watch. Obviously, he'd like you to watch because obviously you want the views, don't you? You don't want to be one of these. Uh, channels with high subscribers and low views do you what's all that about I'm glad i ain't one of them i'd be traumatized if i didn't get some of the views but i get good views because you lot my subscribers just like to thank you for supporting burn sea fishing you give me good views you give me good comments you look after me it's much appreciated and uh yeah what else is there to say i was gonna say Thank you to the two chaps that um, donated some money in our walkabout in Lincoln. I uh, forget, I think, was it one of them Digger? And Digger? Christ, it was days ago when I had beer then. Uh, I don't think I can get a live chat up. I might be able to. I'll have a look. If I can find it, I'll say it. But you know you are, anyhow. I was walking around Lincoln with the old wife. And uh, well, she's not that old. And uh, she's lost the filling, though. <laughs> Bless her. She's uh, feeling a bit run down at the minute, I think. Anyhow, more stout, that's what I say. It'll build the strength up, won't it? Plenty of stout. Chips and stout, that's what's her favourite meal, that is. But yeah, now thank you to all subscribers, all my members, thank you very much for your support. It's much appreciated. Someone's walking down here. Probably a dog walking. Anyhow, so yeah, so we're, what we touched on. My coat, that's just brilliant. Um, what else have we touched on? Well, we touched on everything, haven't we? I'm not going to repeat myself, because that's not a good thing to do to keep repeating yourself, is it? Don't know if I've told you, but I've put my uh, some new line on. It's yellow. Never had yellow line before. There you go. It'll be good. See you in a bit when I come back. Hopefully, when that water's in and we're casting out. See you in a bit.
I don't know what happened with that, but the bail arm came over. I'll have to look back at the footage, but I'm 100% certain I took the bail arm off. But I very much doubt if I did. But hey, don't ever cast like that with these fixed fills, so. Get the second rod out now. That's both rods out. Both rods are out. Well, that's both rods out. Um, what's this on? That's both rods out, and uh, we've gone through one battery already. Bit of a bit of an eye opener. Bearing in mind, I've only done about 20 minutes filming. I think that battery's on its way out. It's not cold. Um, I've done it off the ground cast, but the wind's blowing this way. It didn't go well. It did go a lot further than the other red chuck. So I am out further with the full squid. Um, that wasn't off the ground. I'll do some more, I think. If I've got no dog walkers walking by, I can leave my rubber there. So, uh, yeah, I'll carry on doing that, I think. Oh, well, we're out. Chap next to me, he's caught a, he's caught a cod already. Maybe two. A little coddling, sorry. I don't know about the lads further down that have fished it all the way in. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to keep an eye on these rods, see what happens. And uh, hopefully, you never know your luck, do you? It might, it might come good, it might be all right. A bit annoyed with the battery. It must be a knackered one or something. I was going to say wankered, but can't swear, can I? So I shan't say that. So I brought a battery pack with me and I bring my charger, I put my charger in my camera bag now. So uh, that's my camera bag, that's all it is, a little tiny bag, it's waterproof, got foam in it, keeps it all alright, put that down there. And I'll get this plugged in to this charger pack, um, because just in case the batteries all run out, yeah that's charging, look. just an anchor. It's a 20,000 milliamp anchor. Um, is it? Plug it in, that'll stay in and charge it. Yeah, so it's a 20,000 milliamp anchor and uh, that'll charge it up. I might get through the battery that's in and get another battery in. I'll put another battery in my pocket. I always put a battery in my pocket ready. Um, and then that way, if that one goes, I've got another one to put in, and then when this battery that I'm now putting in my pocket is in, that one should be charged up. I still haven't got any new batteries for my uh, GoPro. It's lovely again. Wind has dropped as it said it would, so it's, it's dropped from 20s to probably, did say it was dropping down to 13 mile an hour, 12, 13 mile an hour, which it's, it's dropped. 
Might be interesting to get one of them weed, wind weed, wind speed monitors, you know. Um, that way we can see what the wind is like, can't we? Right, I've cast these rods out and I'll tell you now, I haven't watched the rod tips. I've been doing the battery, getting that on charge, putting a spare battery in my pocket so I'm ready, and I haven't been watching my rods. You either catch on the first cast there, like my lad who did down there when the tide was way out, or you uh, you catch at some point. But at some point, hopefully, we will catch. Now, hopefully, there's no white in there. I haven't caught a white in since I first come here in November. So, and that was at the beginning of November as well, I believe. No white in. I haven't seen a white in. It's brilliant. Not that there's a problem with them, but maybe if there's no white and there's something out there eating them, so they've swam off, haven't they? Well, that's the first, that's the first off the ground cast I've done on a fixed spool since I fished with Tom on the Humber. Um, yeah, since I fished with Tom on the Humber. They went all right back then, but I just don't do it. I always dump it out because I'm always at the river. So I've sent one out with an off the ground. The other one's just to thump out with worms. You've got to be careful with the worms. They're a nice steady rod. They don't rip any of the bait apart. None of the worm flies off. Fantastic rod for using worms. So um, I might do another off the ground try it if I do another squid out there but I am going on to worms I've got 20 worms there and I want to use them so if there's not many bites you know I shan't be coming in so much you know pulling in and what I'm gonna have to do Anna I want to get rid of the worms I want to catch a fish really they're moving back up they're uh, they were fishing down there on the rocks He's got the same kilt as me, that chap down there. He's an old boy, I think it's father and son, I think. You need to be careful on them rocks, mate. So I'm gonna go get some water because the tide is in. Um, here are my worms from Scott. Absolutely beautiful worm. Look at them gills. I, that's what I say about it. I think they're pretty, a pretty worm. As far as worms go, you know, but all the gills are out, they're loving life, aren't they? And then some twat from Norfolk comes along and shoves them up a bloody baiting needle and puts them on a hook. I ain't got used to using fresh worms yet. It's a bit like uh, peeler crabs. You'll not get me using fresh crabs. If I buy get fresh crabs, which hopefully this year I will, um, I shall just put them in a bag, straight in the freezer, freeze them for two or three hours, and then backpack them. Yeah, I can't, I can't be, uh, I can't be uh, killing stuff like that. It's not, it's not, not the done thing. <laughs> oh. Right, I'm gonna have a coffee, watch these rods. I'm gonna fill this bucket up with water, get it on the bottom of the tripod, so I've got some water. I might have a fish on that that rod so I'll get the water now could be a flounder can it he's reeling in I hope they leave some cod for me yeah he ain't got nothing right I'm gonna get some water have a coffee I shall turn this off I shall come back when I reel that rod in so uh, if you've got this far thank you very much it means a lot see you in a bit Right, I'm going to do a bait check, bait check on the worms, see what's happening.
Well, the bait's still on it, and uh, I might just tip that off with a bit of squid, to be honest. The bait's still on it, but then I've got all the worms, haven't I? If one of the worms look dodgy, I'll replace it, and then I'll cast that again. So, uh, yeah, no weed at the minute. I'm sure the weed will come as the tide starts to ebb, but what we'll do is we'll get this freshened up or baited up, and we'll chuck it out again. Well, the worms, the worms on that were perfectly all right. So what I've done is I've cut a squid in half and put two halves on each hook. So a bit of attractant, it's white, it's flashy, isn't it? it'll smell, it'll move about. Hopefully it'll tease something out, but it's worms all the way now. No weed, which is good, and uh, yeah, but no fish. Now the two chaps that were fishing down there had a good session, so uh, they're now off for a match. <laughs> fished, fished all of the low water, um, which means you've got to walk out into the river. And uh, but they weren't lathered up in mud, to be fair. And. Uh, now going to fish a match, so good luck to you lads. So yeah, what a beautiful day. The wind has dropped, it's dropped even more now. It did pick up a minute ago. Keeps gusting, but it is just a gust. It's not a constant wind that they call gusts at 30 mile an hour. It's just... So it'll be nice if we catch a fish early on. Let's get it out of the way. Don't want a blank, do we? Not with all these people catching these fish around us. I've got a two hook flapper out there ready. I've sharpened the hooks. Um, <clears throat> I should get that baited up with a couple of worms in a minute. Ready to pull the big squid in because I chucked the squid out, didn't I? I chucked it out far or as far as I could with a fixed bill rod continental at distance. Didn't go that far. Um, if it went 90 yards, that's the most. But it went further than my of red thump, that's for certain, but yeah. Hopefully, of all hopes, let's catch a fish. Cod, codlin, big one, plenty about. Got new line on my reels. They do look actually quite good in yellow. I was gonna buy some more red, but I think I'll just buy the gold. So yeah, perhaps that's it with me, line, gold but they don't stand out as much i can see them especially if i go up like this i can see them but they are uh, not as stand out as what the red line is so but there you go it's what they look like on your reel, really, isn't it? You've got to look smart, haven't they? You know what I mean? Tackle tart. Right, I'll see you in a bit.
nothing on that so I shall get that uh, weed pulled off and get baited up for fresh worm get it chucked out again see you in a bit Well, that's that again. Well, that's the two at Flatborough now, so we're worms all the way. We're on for it now. The squid bait on the pulley panel have come in and the squid had gone, so the worms come back, but the squid was gone. I never elasticated it on, it was just hooked through and uh, the panel looked applied. Could have come off when the cast, couldn't it, for all I know. Perhaps it needs, because uh, it's a big bait, it does need a little bit of elastic round, but I wanted to try it without the elastic. Um, so yeah, so uh, I've got a chap called John with me today. He's come up from Birmingham I believe to uh, fish until Wednesday so uh, he's got here a bit late but he was going to the wall at Immingham is that everything now John is that salt water or fresh water fresh yeah fresh water it's another trip yeah <laughs> you're joking no. but I might forego it I would I'd get your gear up <gasps> Yeah, that's what I'm thinking because I'm losing time. I might as well just sit down there, set up, just sit down there and... Uh... I don't think you'll get washed off down there, but them chaps... Oh, his dad's still there. I thought they were moving, but... Yeah. I casted that one to the left and that stayed to the left as well, so... Has it? All oh, right. If you cast straight out, the worst I'm case scenario, go... it'll go to the right, it'll be all right. Yeah, I'm going to go in the bay down there. You're going down there in the, the shelter? Wind. I'm not going to. I'm not going to get me baby. I'll just sit on my box. I'm, I'm it's been too much walking up and down. Yeah, yeah, mate. I you mean, want a? Uh, you I've want left me food down there and all, so. But I can drink black coffee, uh, black tea, because my milk's in it and all. I bought even bought coffee for you. Did you? Yeah. I got a flask. <laughs> <laughs> I got one of them rapid burners, them rapid boil. Yeah, I was thinking about getting one of them, but. Because. Yeah. Yeah. Just a matter. See, when I go fishing on the beach, I don't mind taking a barbecue because they're so light, yeah. and a couple of burgers. But it's just a, look. You've got half a kitchen. Look at all that half a kitchen sink. Yeah, and the rest. Let's just in that clear plastic box. <laughs> Normally, when I go chisel, I get out of that uh, that one that's got the car park right on the on the beach. Is that Abbotsbury? It's, no, the one that bit after that, right. before that, Bex, West Bexington. Yeah, right. Yeah, just take everything out of the beach, just walk straight down. But it's knackery coming back up. Especially yeah. on that beach. Chesil don't do anything for me, I'm afraid. It's too far for me. I went to South Wales this last year, and yeah. me and Tom were going to do Chesil, but it was still three hours from there to get to Chesil. It's three from mine, and I, don't get, I live in Birmingham. Yeah. No matter which way I go, Three hours either way. I'm going to wait North Wales to that that black place with the long name, that, with the long train name, station name. Yeah, yeah. In Wales? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know the one. Where the fish are seven up there. We go for the uh, lure fishing. Seven, eight, nine is coming out of there, fast wise. Yeah. Yeah, I like time. On to the lure as well. So, yeah. Right, well, mate, you get set up and good luck. Yeah. John and we've been putting your stuff down to you.
heavy. It's heavy. Caught a codlin. Right, I've got to get it unhooked because it swallowed the hook, so wish me luck, but we're caught a codlin. Right, we got it unhooked. It weren't too bad. Um, ain't moving much, but hopefully it'll be all right. Right. Yeah, that's all right. That's pretty lively. It is 46 centimetre. 45 centimetres. Yeah, hope you can see that. 45 centimetre. Gills are beautiful and red. One small codlin, really. It's great, really, isn't it? So, it has got a mark on its belly. Um, it's got its poo hole, and then there's another hole in its belly, and it had a, like a worm or something hanging out of it, so I yanked that out. Um, it was some sort of leech or something. I'll show you. See it? It was in there. So I pulled that out, so we've done it some service. Yeah, it's got life in it. That can go back. <clears throat> Chuffed a bit. Saw the bite and had to run over from John. So, there we go, 45 centimetre codlin, mark where that leech was but I pulled it out so it's now going to heal up hopefully, uh, let's get that back. I'm chuffed with that. The hook had gone in into its uh, stomach and pulled some out. But I managed to put my finger around the back of it and push the hook out. Didn't do any damage, no blood come out. And then I pushed it back in through its gullet, through that hole that closes into its stomach. And it's moving around the basket. I've chucked it back in. And uh, yeah, all is good, it's gone. Nothing there, new fluters, nothing. One codlin, still on the run. Well, we ain't on the run, are we? But. It's good to catch into it. It's not a blank. We'll see you in a bit. Just get him a rod and then I'll cast out.
too far. Can't do that. Well, this is session 15 on this mark. Wouldn't that have made a lovely thing if I had not had that blank in session 13? The session too far. But it's great, isn't it? It's just nice to come out and you're still catching cod and cod, well, codling. It's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? So, yeah, look at this round there. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Up in the sky, and there's my rod tips, and there's John. He's uh, got his first rod out. Let's hope these rods go again. We've got um, that codling came on um, yellow tails and a piece of squid. Um, now it's not going to have that, it's just got yellow tail on. But I shall cut some squid strips up and dangle them on as well. You know, it might just make the difference, doesn't it? Time is now five minutes to five. High tide is in half an hour. So, uh, thereabouts. So it should uh, keep fishing. I'm getting hot now in this coat. I might have to take it off because the wind's dropped, you see. It's warmed up. This coat is warm anyhow. But you get maximum maximum warmth from this coat when you're wearing the the uh, thermal underwear that you can buy from Reeds as well. So right, well, we'll see you in a bit. Right, well, I've got the battery in. I've just charged the battery I was charging up is now in the camera. So the second battery is now on charge so yeah we've had a codlin 45 centimeter um that is codlin stroke cod number 32 that's not bad for since november is it for me it's not bad for anybody but for me it's good and that's all i'm interested in there's plenty of other people can catch better than me they've been here today yanked that 11 unbelievable but then they've gone to a competition so Bleep that, Tom. We don't want people knowing there's that many in there. There ain't that many in there because I ain't catching them now, am I? And I am the cod king, cod father, Norfolk cod catcher. You know, that's what I am. So John's casted out his rod. He's down there. He's now going to go get his milk because he wants a cup of tea. I've got something rattling my rods, but it could just be weed, couldn't it? But yeah, look at it, it's lovely, isn't it? Wind's gone now, and look at this sunset. Pink skies, look at them skies. Absolutely cracking. Sun setting. Absolutely beautiful. So like John just said, if there was an elephant on that slope up there, it would just look like bloody Africa. Right, well, I'll bring these in when I get a bite and show you and hopefully you'll catch another cod. See you in a bit. Right, got a bit of weed on that, but there was a plastic bag or something on it. Well, 
which is uh, what was tapping away. Bloody Mayrock. Last thing I want is this bloody crap. Probably cast that through the eyes. I ain't gonna. the first time that's the first time since I've been here fishing that I've had worms come back with nothing on the hook well hooks come back with no worms on no bait That went bloody miles. That did. That went bloody miles, that did. Right. So, we're still at one coddling. Um, people have come past and they've caught one. They've gone them early, but so they're about. That rig's coming with new uh, bait on it, so perhaps the crabs have started. That's a shock, isn't it? I ain't had any problem with crabs or whiting ever since I've been fishing here. So might be a few crabs around. We don't know. We'll see as the session goes on. I'll sort this rig out, this flapper rig. Um, get it. I ain't gonna bait it up yet, but I will bait it up before I bring the next rod in. And I'll just watch these rods. I'll have to bring the other rod in a bit sooner than I normally would, because normally the worms are always on there, and up until that last cast, they have been. So I'll leave that other rod out for another five minutes, and I'll bring it in, um, bait it up with another rig, get it casted out. We'll see you in a bit.
Well, that weren't good. That had swept right round in front of John's swim. Right, I'll bring you back in a minute. Forgot to bait the rig up. casted a lot further upstream now so hopefully hopefully it won't whip right around to John so I'll bring you back when I reel these in uh, I'll get the other rig rigged up ready baited up I'll see you in a bit. <sighs> right. How you doing, my man? You all right, John? Yeah. So you're all set up now. Oh, it's not yeah. long, has it? Cup of tea on the brew. We'll be in a minute. Get this going. These are brilliant. Yeah. These jet balls, they are. I swear, boy. Like two and a half minutes and that'll be boiled. Yeah. If it goes, is it this side or is it the other side? It changes colour to orange. All right. It goes to orange up here. Have you had any fish yet? No, not, no. not I'm getting slung round quite a lot though. Yeah. Well, I've I'm got... going right over there. Well, that's I'm good. passing that way. Yeah, that's good because it's it... still pulling me right round. Yeah, I'm in front I've of you. I've been snagged twice. Yeah, I'm in front of you at the minute, so I'm, I'll have to reel mine in. You know, but I've been snagged twice around that court around this bend here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh boy, as long as we catch a salt man. I hope I get some in. I've been coming from all the way from Birmingham. It's a long, it's come a long way. It's it? a long way, yeah. But I don't mind. I'll, it, it gets me out of the house. That's the main thing. And with my health at the moment, oh God. Yeah, it's nice to be out in it. Yeah, it's not cold. No. Not like, not like it was a few weeks ago. Oh, it's terrible, wasn't it? I mean, Birmingham was minus, we're looking at minus threes and fours over there. Well, we were the same. Minus five oh, and six some mornings. You sure you don't want to brew? No, I I've don't got spare cup. No. What now, look? Yeah, no, I don't know. See, look, I even brought you coffee up, knowing that I was coming up. See, Dale Oakbert's coffee, I don't buy the cheap crap. No, <laughs> I do. <laughs> well, you might, but I don't. Oh, no. I, even bought, I, I bought myself some, some uh, sausages. Guess where I left them? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm in the fridge. Yeah, well, at least it's in the fridge. Well, I'm getting my real and my rog rigs in and the uh, first time ever the baits are gone since the beginning of November. Every time I reel my baits in, yeah. there's always the worms still on it. But I've reeled in two rigs well, now I'm, and I'm worms used, are gone. I'm so. using uh, salty black logs that I've had frozen in my freezer for a while. Man. Uh, I've just brought them in to check them and they're still on there. 
I just want to set back out again. Maybe the crabs are showing up. Crabs not even been touched. My my peter crabs not been touched neither. No. Which really surprises me. Yeah, look. Oh yeah. Is it heavy? No. No, it's not heavy to carry either. No. Yeah, it goes on these these tanks. I bought a box of six, about 20 quid, 25 quid, something like that for a box of six of them. And I've got a bigger one in there. Is it in there? Yeah, it's in there. That you can... See, that's it. Job done. Yeah. What you do then is you can hold that. Yeah. Slip it off. I put sugar in my tea. Not very well prepared, am I? No, you're not. You're uh, showing the subscribers that you aren't prepared making your tea. No, it's That's no good that. I mean, this an is Englishman ridiculous. needs tea and you're not an prepared, Englishman, mate. Yeah, Do you exactly. need to put the sugar in first? Or I not? always put sugar in first. Do you? Yeah, because as you're pouring it in, right, with the water in, it's actually brewing it. You know, it's um, it's it, it's stirring it as well. <laughs> that bit, that's made a few people want a wee wee. <laughs> Ow. I don't know if there's any women watching, oh, which yeah. would probably just be my missus. Probably. But yeah, the the. the they come as a kit, these. Not this though, you don't get this. No. But I can't remember what I paid for mine. I'll probably get one one day. About, about 35 quid, something like that. I and just they, take they're it. worth it, they yeah. are really, really worth it. I just take a little flask. Summertime, I take a little flask, but I normally drink water more than anything. But Summertime, because you get so hot, don't you? Yeah. But then again, in the summer when it's warm, you need hot drinks. Because a lot of people fail on one thing. Right, and I had this from a, 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 a um, an army survivalist. Yeah. That when you're in hot weather, you drink hot drinks. Don't drink cold drinks. Yeah, a cup of tea's good for you, isn't it? Because the cold drinks is warming up in your body, so it warms the body up. Yeah. And it's vice versa with the tea, with the hot drink. Right, okay. You're cooling the body down because the drink's cooling mm. now. That's what he said to me anyway. So. And I've always stood by that. Well, my old man used to always say that if you if it's summertime, you say. You is that say, right? Yeah, of course it's running. <laughs> you ain't sworn, which is good. But the the well, yeah. My old man used to say exactly the same. Yeah. You want a hot cup of tea during summer? Yeah. You see, old school. Don't it, there don't you go, make listeners. Set. Old school. Listen yeah. to us, old guys. Yeah. I ain't that old. Yeah, I'm old, probably older than him. I just feel older. Oh, shut up. Would you like to cripple eight? Oh old groats here you with arthritis me the same oh, it's in a lovely sunset I've got, tonight i've got some itis i don't know what it is though but it's some itis <laughs> you don't drink though do you do i drink yeah, yeah. of course i do do you yeah i don't oh don't you no i used to i should i'll tell you what through that period of time when the whole yeah. world was locked down i oh. must have i think i was having four cans a night and sometimes more it was unbelievable really? how much you, every day. I went into hospital and this doctor said, how much do you drink? And I said, about four, maybe five, could be more. He says, what, a month? I said, no, a night. These are biodegradable tea he, bags, he, by the way. He said to me, I can't believe it. Yeah. I did go in with chest pains, though. <laughs> yeah, I used to drink like a fish when, when before I was just just before I turned 21, when I passed my class one license. Oh, and then you had my to, HTV yeah, license. Yeah. Once I passed that, I don't know what, how, why, when. I just went off it like that. Yeah. As so though somebody just turned the light switch off. Yeah. Well, some women women go like that, you know. They just go oh, off it. Oh, don't tell me about it. I can't tell, say too much, otherwise I might get a pain in that because my missus is looking after my dog at the moment. Yeah, no, yeah. Now, I just said some women. I won't. I won't. I won't. Meaning your missus or mine. Oh, I know. I know. The see, the minority always buggers it up for the majority, though. Right, that's one cup of tea made. 
that'll stay hot in that flask for a good seven, eight hours. Well, we can wear that long. No. No. But I've had to bring this down because I was getting a bit of chill on my back. Me? Yeah. yeah. It's called old age, mate. Yeah. Don't you ever know that? You're like, you're getting on that. You're getting on <laughs> I told you, didn't I? <laughs> you're getting on that box like bloody Linford Christie. Oh. <laughs> hey, look, I, you're lucky I didn't go and go when I brought the chair, get this. I was going to bring my chair down as well, my nice comfortable chair. Yes, viewers, I do have a comfortable chair folding one. Bloody expensive thing and all. Yeah, I think you've been back to your car enough. With with what with my illness. Is it me or has that gone like a mill pond out there? Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? I wonder them if now, we should it? bring them in and chuck them back out again. I wonder if they'll run. What do you reckon? Mm. That wind has dropped right, like there's no got tomorrow. One right in front of this thing here. Mine's well, got, yeah, mine, yeah, that's why I'm saying I'm getting snagged over there. Yeah, you'll have to walk to the corner. You know what I might do? I might go down there. Right, and then I'm going to cast yeah. out. To yeah, that, walk to, to your right. Yeah, yeah, walk to your right and cast to your left, and you'll be alright, won't you? Hopefully. I did that down there yes this morning, and they still ended up flipping at uh, five o'clock. You know, you can't win. Oh, where's the tobacco? I haven't had a fax or something. <laughs> you would just say you got COPD. Yeah, <laughs> and I sniff it. Yeah, even my <laughs> missus turns right. Well, I, we, we're not together, but we are in a way. And she always winds me up. Stop smoking, blah blah blah. It takes me all my all my time just to walk down around the corner to the shop because where I live, right? Literally, I walk out my front door, through my driveway, turn left, and the shop's there about. 20 feet right and I'm puffed out you ought to get your car and drive it oh yeah I don't know which petrol I'm going to use when I do that <laughs> let him fire won't get into top gear will I old oh, knickers now I'm hoping I brought my lighter with me as well I've got a lighter if you went I've got one in the toolbox the toolbox yeah what back of your car no one in yeah. there. In there. Tackle box. Right, I'm going to go check these rod tips. Yeah, and right. uh, yeah, see yeah. where that is because I've mine's down here somewhere. And but I can't believe this guy's had 13, 14, maybe 15 already. What? And I've had none. I ain't had that many. Yeah, right. Yeah, I've had one. One today, but you've got to add that to the count he's already got. Yeah, that's 32. <laughs> 32? Yeah. That's only since November. Yeah, not off this mark though. Yeah, it is. Well, apart from four, yeah. Four of them come elsewhere. I can only catch codlin in the river. You see, I can't catch my beaches. Apart from in summertime and early autumn. I don't know if I'll get down them cliffs, you know, because my hip. Do you know, I'll, I'll, get, looked, I'll get down. I've looked at I'll those. Struggle. Mm. I've looked at those cliffs and. There's not a hope in hell to actually me going down them, no. getting back up. And even, singing, after, even after a rain, they're going to be like really gloopy and, yeah. oh no. You'll be washing your flipping yeah. clothes and everything, you'll be sinking I've actually, in it. I've actually washed my boots from when I fell over, which was months ago. <laughs> <laughs> right, what did I'm you the... do, fall over a stone? The bloody dog dragged me, I had Duke with me and he dragged oh. me, he just went for the van because he knew he was getting close to the van, you know what dogs are like when they, oh, he loves my nice van yeah. and he just went and I had no chance, I was on my back, some fisherman come back and helped me, he knew me, oh, I didn't right. know, he said, yeah. Bernie you alright, and I'm like, who's that, yeah. no I ain't mate, and he said I'll come get something for you, well you know what, because he'd ride me over again to the van, oh. well you know what Bernie, I mean, yeah, I've watched every, nearly every one of your videos from start to finish. And I've had a laugh. I've chuckled. 
Yeah. I live on my own with my Rottweiler and I've had, you know, I wait for your videos to come out. It's not just you I watch, I watch a few of the other, yeah. the other guys out there, you know, and you make me laugh. Yeah. You're a giggle, a laugh and a laugh and probably not know how, out. but I do, do I? You do, you do, yeah. I don't seem to make the wife laugh. She just sort you, of like you, shrugs her shoulders you're and not, sighs. You, you're not tickling her in the right places, then, oh, are right. you? You know. Too old for that. Bollocks. Oops, excuse me. That's what his missus is missing. <laughs> right, <laughs> on that note, I'm going to check these rods. Yeah, all right. I well. might reel this right hand one in and chuck it right out down there again. Yeah, well, pop back. I will do Don't that. Don't be stranger. Well, it's, 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 it's great to meet you again, finally. I don't get mates of any many YouTuber, uh, YouTubers. But when you said about it, I didn't, I didn't realise. I thought it was next week, and I, I never know. I'm the most unorganised person. People say to me, "What are you doing, so and so?" And I'm thinking, I don't know, and because I, I can't even think about it. So I have to go on my money situation and the time of month when my money goes in yeah. my bank, and plus the tides. I always like to fish high tides. Yeah. Why? I don't know. People fish low tides. I mean, what, what do you get out of a low tide? Other than crabs and little fish. You get, you get, it depends on the, the mark really, doesn't it? There is low water marks where you... Can... And people are starting to fet in, fet in the place now. The plates are coming in. Yeah. Down south here, aren't they? Yeah. Don't catch any place up there. I know one place I'd like to go, right. Norway. I'd love to go Norway. Yeah, a lot of money, isn't it? Yeah. There's that guy, uh, that other chap who, on YouTube, go, quite he, a he goes there. there. Isn't he? he goes Norway. And he's fetching like 15, 10, 15 pounds out of there. Yeah, but the challenge is coming here, isn't it, and pulling the fish out. That's where the challenge is. Yeah, that's right. You yeah. go to Norway, it's like fishing off a boat, isn't it? Yeah. No, they're actually fishing off. off yeah, off. I know they do off the shore, but fish are there, aren't they? They're, yeah, they're always. There's a bait there, isn't it? The deep sardines. Water, they don't get overfished because they're overfishing our waters. But. Blame the French. <laughs> Sorry, French, but blame the French. Right, mate. I'm going to check that rod and then I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. Well, I hope I did alright. I'm not used to <laughs> I think you're fine. I'll be alright. I, right. I would say. I'll I would, just be I would, myself. I don't care what anybody says. So, you know. I just hope there's a few more fish about. Well, I ain't even got my lights on, so I can't even tell where my bleeding things are. Right, see you in a bit. Yeah, I'll see you. See you, John. But this is like a mill pond now. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Right, let's check this rod. We uh, we might have ooh, ooh, hip. I don't think we've got anything on it. It's just right in front of John. But then his lines are the other way, so it won't get snow. That one's holding. Right, I'll see you in a bit.
Right, well, I'll get this baited up, pull the weed off, and then what I'll do is I'll bring you back. Yeah, my hip. I don't know whether I'll coop this year or not, but we're going to have to, aren't we? Because uh, I'm certainly going fishing. Right. I don't think that's out as far. So hopefully... Oh, that's a bit bright, isn't it? Let's turn that down. Yeah, so uh, hopefully, if it moves, it'll go underneath the other line. But yeah, it's very quiet, isn't it? I've had that one cod, saw the bite. Absolutely fantastic, but oh dear, it's not good, is it? But hey, don't matter, does it? Because the thing is, I've caught another codlin, and and to catch a codlin these days, I could go on the beach, could catch a codlin. There's plenty coming off there, isn't there? But I don't think I can get down them the cliffs yet. Um, I will be. It will take a struggle. I might have to take one rod. That's the problem. That's another issue, isn't it? But, um, yeah. And I think that line's just crossed under. Oh, could do with another coddling, couldn't we? It's time yet. Tide's going down now. Should have cast it further up. That's what I should have done. It don't matter. Yes, yeah, crossed. It's gone under, I think. Quite a bit of pull on this. It's big tide, 7.4. Um, here it is. Obviously, the, uh, the the land is probably lower here than what it is further down the river. But there you go. Yeah, line's gone under, so I'll swap the rods round. So the next time I'll cut further upstream like I did with the last rod, because that's holding. Um, but there could be no bait on that rod, so I'm going to have to bring that rod in shortly. Now. Yeah, I'm getting um, baits missing off the hook. I'm going to have to bring them in sooner because I could have a bait out, a hook out there with no bait on. Whereas prior to this session, the baits were staying on all night. I've had no problem whatsoever. The only problem you get here is a bit of weed and may rot. May rot. You know, it's in the title really, isn't it? May. Not maybe it will be there or maybe it won't. It's May rot. So it's supposed to be here in May, not bloody February. I think someone should phone Greta up and just tell her about the situation. Because May rot in February, there's got to be something going on. I think the world's going to implode. I think that's it. That climate catastrophe's here. It is on my hooks and on my leader, not anyhow. <laughs> Fucking old Thunderbird. Never mind. It's just my opinion. I don't want to upset anyone. Please don't unsubscribe from that. And don't forget, here's one for you. If you want to subscribe to my channel, make sure you do. Even if you don't want to, subscribe to the channel and click that bell. Because once you click that bell, you've uh, turned somebody in the world who's woke into a normal person. So if you click my bell, yeah, you're helping society out. We're reducing the wokeness in the world. So uh, click that bell and it'll turn someone from being woke. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. I've seen it on Sinbad in the Eye of the Tiger. So yeah, click that bell and you'll uh, save someone from wokeness. See you in a bit. Right, well, I'm going to uh, reel this left-hand rod in. It's a rod that I chucked out a bit back. i um, going to check the baits. There was worms on the previous rig. I've got a rig baited up ready to change straight away. And uh, what we'll do is we'll get that in right now because the tide is going out. It's probably dropped three quarters of a metre with the sloop of the beach, I would say. So the water's still as high as in the last video. Um, where it was high water there so I'm gonna get this reeled in the ebb is going out the water's ebbing out now so if there's gonna be any more coddling 
um, which I hope there is, uh, it will be shortly. Well, between now and when I pack up, I should get another fish, if there's any out there. Now, don't laugh at that, because in Norfolk, that makes plenty of sense. Rod's moving now, I don't know what to do. Right, let's get this reeled in, change it, because if there's no worms on it, we ain't fishing. No end of weed, struggling with weed. I might chuck one out short. Um, give it a short chuck out. Let's get this bloody weed up. Right. You might as well, you might as well uh, stare at me. Slacken the drag off, pull the line off. Do the drag up so you can pull against it move it up on the roller so you're pulling against that and then pull it off I could cast that through my eyes because I've got big eyes but I don't want to take this rig off still got worms on it that's good to know perhaps it was small fish that robbed the bait Perhaps there are still in no crabs. Right, we'll cast that out. We'll cast it short. And what we'll do is... Yeah, you got me on there? Will you see me? Should do. Right. Good, that's the right side. Chuck this out short, might miss some of the weed if we chuck it short. Mind you, McCarthy, with this and Mind you, the last one went a long way. Probably gone too far. Right, that's out there. So, well, I've only got six worms left. 
It's unlike me, I've normally got more than that. But there, never mind. John's casting that again. Good cast. Right. Well, I'll get this rig baited up. I have got a huge worm at the top. I might need to put one on, but I'll probably put two on anyhow. Um, Tippered with some squid. Just doing the best I can. Seems like it's a quite hard night. Now, yesterday, it seemed to fish quite well there, apparently, according to my mate. But you can only take the tide you, you're fishing, can't you? And the tide I'm fishing has turned up one. Now, there's plenty of time yet. I've still got, I can't see new rocks yet, but it won't take long before that's out. These big tides come in, go out quite quickly and go out a long way as well. So, because they go out a long way, because they're big tides, um, it don't seem, the water don't seem to stay in as long as it does in other um, sessions. If you go and you've got a small high tide, you normally get a, a very low, a high low tide, if you know what I mean. So the water, there's more water throughout the period of the tides, of high and low. If you understand that, I'm pleased you do, because I, I said it, I said it, that's what I meant. I know what I mean. Right, I'm gonna watch these rods. I might have a sandwich. I'm gonna bait that rig up first. Next rod to bring in is the right hand rod, unless, the left hand rod starts nodding with a fish on it. So uh, yeah, I'll bring you back in a bit. Put that one on there. There's a bit of weed tonight. Right, can't cast that out. Let's get this off. Bloody straw. Uh, that's the way it go, isn't it? Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not with the weed. If it's not straw, it's made what? 
I don't think we'll chop this one out so far. I think what we'll do is we shall uh, chuck it out shortish. See what we can do. So let's turn this to here. Wind's picked up a bit. Right, short cut. That didn't go short, did it? Don't even know if I was in the camera. Must have been. Make you laugh, don't it? I've had one codlin, and most people would be happy with that, and I'm happy with it because I'm still catching codlin, aren't I? Even though we had that blip at session 13, this would have been 15. I would have uh, beat it, wouldn't I? But I didn't because session 13, well, that was a flounder session, a flounder. So at least I didn't blank. So that goes on. Must be getting on for 25 sessions now without a blank, which was the beginning of September. I finished blanking in August, so it's all good. So I suppose you get nights where they're slow. At least I've had one, and I returned it as well. It was hooked in deep, and it had pulled. St I can only think it was its lung. I don't know, or whatever it was. It's part of its stomach. Took the hook out really carefully. I put my finger in to push on the whatever it's hooked into and got it out without damaging anything new blood and then I just poked it back in with my finger through its clues and hole at the back for its stomach and uh, yeah it was kicking around and doing all sorts in the bucket and then when I chucked it in the water I saw it swim back in towards the shore and then I saw it turn and it disappeared so it went so saved that fish unhooked it really gently and then went back so right well that's another bait out there freshed up I'll get this rig baited up I think I'll leave him with two worms do I take two worms and we'll keep them alive I might go again this week but I could go to the beach I suppose but I might as well just get new fresh bait and if I go to the beach I could just take frozen bait Right, I'll bring you back when I reel these in. It is motionless, static, and uh, I'm enjoying myself. And I think John's enjoying himself, but he's here until he goes on Wednesday. He doesn't want a blank, so I'm sure he'll catch. Give him a good bait supply, Scott. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed for you, John. Hope you catch. Hope you enjoy your whole fishing trips. So. Uh, it's a nice thing to do. See you in a bit.
If not, I'll do it at the end, John. Aye? If not, I'll do it at the end. Well, that's weird, because I went... I, you must have gone over mine. But it was... Your clip... Your clip was on both of my lines to where I just shoot you. It's unbelievable, isn't it? It's weird, isn't it? Right, let's get this out. Too much time lost. Too much time lost. We ain't got much time yet left. Gonna chuck this out. We'll get it short. Bloody weed. Just ain't got time to take it off. Because if I don't get this out, I ain't gonna get another casting. So we don't snap. Well, that ping through the line. Sorry about that. Well. I can certainly say, I can certainly say that you don't have to lose a lot of time when you get snagged up or weed. And the weed's probably the worst because the weed's all right if you're pulling in coddling because it don't really matter two hoots because you're happy. But when you're fighting it and struggling and uh, you've got nothing but weed, that's a whole different story. Whole different story. But there, we're out cat fishing. They're the last two out. Um, it's not looking good. It looks like I've had me codlin, but that's good because I've caught a codlin. Um, it'd be bad if I didn't catch a codlin because this would now be a blank. You see how difficult this river is at the minute with flounders you'd think with them small looks I'd have a flounder wouldn't you but I haven't yeah on a Gemini clip it goes down and round and you hook your weights or snoods or whatever you do on it and you've got a little eye at the top which you tie your knot to and that little eye on the Gemini had gone through it it was on um, John's rig and it had gone through both my lines so both my lines were through that rig how could that happen right I shall watch these like a hawk and then I'll switch you on and reel them in but I ain't got long left these big tides go out quick as well you see it's the problem I think big tides for the beach are probably a good thing I mean, this week, if I feel all right and uh, I've got everything sorted, I might try the beach. I did try this weekend, but the tides were, the swell was terrible on what the information I had. Um, I could have gone there and it was totally flat calm or just half a metre or 0.3 of a metre swell. But it, it did say it was a metre swell. But things changed, didn't they? from where I live to go over there. It's an hour and 25 minutes, hour and 20 to hour and a half. And uh, unless there's some idiot driving at 40 mile an hour, trying to conserve petrol, because his petrol's cheaper than my diesel. 
because all petrol stations are still robbing us blind. But yeah, if I if the tide is all right over there and it's not a huge swell, I might try the beach. Because you know, if you've watched this and you got this far, you know I had the blank at session 13. I don't want to keep going on about that session 13. But yeah, it just put a hole in my plans. But I come here today because um, the last video I come here because I wanted to make sure that I weren't that the cod catching hadn't stopped. So, and we caught three cod, didn't we? Two cod, two cod, three cod, two cod. Yeah, two. Um, we caught another cod today. So if the tides are alright next week and I get a free day and it's good weather, I think I might try my first trip on the beach this year. Um, it'll be a struggle for me with my hip, but I might travel light with one rod as well, which then that don't really bode well, does it? Because one rod. Um, if there's no swell, I could take my little one with me so I could have one close in, see if there's any... Um, flatfish about soles or anything soles are in I caught a sole this time last year caught a good sole um, they are about sometimes they're that easy to catch when you're reeling in if your hook hasn't got anything on it it can just hook it that's how easy it is to catch some flatfish at the uh, Holderness coast um, you can just reel it in and just hook one on the way in I've done it I've had many people tell me about it as well and I've done it as well so but yeah I might try that and then come back here on a smaller tide because they're all big tides this week um, unless there's some huge report but if it caught loads yesterday this tide hasn't so it's all swings and roundabouts some tides are better than others uh, I don't think there's no moon tonight I think it's uh, perhaps it's the same as a full moon Perhaps when there's no moon, it's just exactly the same for me. I don't catch, maybe that's it. But we have caught today, so that I ain't moaning. I'm quite happy with what I've caught. I'm just having a chin wag with you, really, as though you're here. I can see you all sitting there on your sofas, drinking your wine, tea, eating your popcorn, Danny. Uh, Jimmy, you'd be having a whiskey, wouldn't you? So I, I can visualize you all there while I'm yapping to you, so that's good. So yeah, I may do that, or you might just see me back here again, mightn't you? It all depends. If that swell ain't right, then I'm coming here. If the swell is right, then I shan't come here. As a matter of fact, tonight when I get out, after I sit down with a can of lager, I've got one left. I think what I'll do is, let's get the laptop out and have a look at the Met Office. I'll see you in a bit when I reel these in. I've got to keep an eye on that water, because I don't want any mud between me and the... Uh, sure so it's not looking good is it right we're gonna pull this bow rod in first let's hope there's not much weed on it tide is disappearing now so i need to get this in a struggle look there that's why that is that's fishing can hear you all saying it right so we're going to reel this next rod in 
because I've got mud between me. Get off, you fucking knob. Right, that was me. I'm the knob because the line had caught round my thing. So uh, what am I doing now? I'm going to reel this last rod in. It's been absolutely silent, quiet. I don't even know if any lads have caught anything down there, but I'll ask them when I go. But yeah, one codling. But we'll get this reeled in. There might be something on it. I'll need to get it on up quick to get it chucked back. to carry on. I've got to carry on. Oh, fuck off. Not again. Fucking idiot. Sorry about that. Every time I put my rib up there, it's bloody... So, are we filming? John's real and is in. Yeah, we're filming. So, let's go down and see John, shall we? Well, John, how's it been? Oh, God. Just turn your light off, mate. Oh, knackering. Knackering? Yeah, I'm tired. It's been good, but it's been nice to meet you, though. Yeah. It's been a pleasure thing. to meet you, mate. It's been good. Yeah. Make sure we do it again. Yeah. This time we'll make sure we'll catch some fish. Well, I've caught. Yeah. I'll do it. I think it is jammy. It was only the one. Yeah. But now, mate, I hope you catch. You're down. You're going to fish tomorrow yeah, and I'm Tuesday, aren't you? Tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, because the wind's going to be behind me back. So, and I can fish straight out of the car as well. Yeah, you can, yeah. So there'll be no more trapes in. That's what's knackered me out more than anything. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice mark, but it hadn't happened tonight. I think no. if we were here last night, it'd have been better. But well, I was here yesterday. Uh, well, this morning, but it was impossible. It was too. I was, I was actually shivering. Lots. I got wet, soaked, and everything this morning. You need a wheelbarrow, mate. Wheelbarrow. <laughs> yeah. The truck. I need a truck, mate. Well, it's been nice meeting you, mate. I'll yeah. sp obviously, we'll speak again because this is just yeah, the end for the well, video. We've got, but we've got we're on messenger now, so you know we'll 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 arrange for something else, probably closer to the summertime. It's a bit warmer. Yeah. And the, the, the days are the nights are a lot longer as well. Yeah. You know, and then that way, you know, we can uh, hopefully catch a lot more. Yeah, mate. Maybe it's we'll been... get that bigger. Maybe. Might no. be a hound though, mightn't it? So that'll be even better. Right, mate. You took it easy. I ain't going to say I'll see you later and all that because I'm going to no. see you in two seconds' time once I finish this video off. <laughs> and then, So what's the point of saying, oh, mate, see you later. Yeah. Yeah, it's been nice meeting you and everything. I'll say that to you anyhow. So anyhow, yeah, that, take, that was... You take it easy and safe drive home when you go, when you leave. Yeah, I will do, mate. 
So that Don't was... bash me car right in front of the old fast. Well, I'll be leaving when you leave. Yeah, well, it's going to be a while before I go. Yeah, I know, but I might be able to carry some up for you. Oh, right. Oh, well, you know, it all not at the minute. You've it... got your own gear. It all depends on me hip. Well, yeah, well, as I say, you've got your own gear to worry about. So that's John. Um, sorry about the light. That's John. He's uh, come from Birmingham to fish for fish here for a few days and uh, he, we met up. He was going to the Immingham Wall. Perhaps he should have done. <laughs> but yeah, now I would say, I would say the bait has, the bait's been key for me today. Is this recording? Yeah. Yeah, the bait's been good for me today, I would say. It's uh, it's just one of them things, isn't it? Let's turn this down. So yeah, it's been good. It's been good to be fair. It's uh, it's been nice to be out. The wind was quite not not heavy, but it was it was certainly blowing, and it then died off, and it was still there was no wind at all. But it's now coming back. By midnight tonight, it's going to be blowing 30 mile an hour. So it's just the way it is. It's nice to have met John. It's good to meet you, John. Um, hope you catch tomorrow. I hope you do tomorrow morning's tide. But if you're too tired and you just fish, fish Monday night, let's hope you catch. Uh, you certainly get some whiting down there. But um, yeah, this is it. So this would have been session 15. This is my 15th trip here. I've been far and enjoyed myself. I've learned a lot. You catch and you don't. Pretty pretty self-explanatory that, isn't it? But no, it's it's been great really. I've caught a 45 centimetre codlin. Not everybody catch catch them all the time, do they? So I'm chuffed with that. And uh, yeah, what else is there to say? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want. Ring a bell if you subscribe, and if you don't, thank you for the view. So I can't say any more than that, can really. Uh, it's been enjoyable. I've enjoyed myself. I haven't enjoyed the weed, but then if I'd caught more codling or fish of any sort, the weed wouldn't have mattered so much. Um, yeah, next time you see me, it'll either be on the beach if the tides are good, um, as in not much swell. Or you'll see me here, but I'm afraid to say with YouTube, the one thing you have to do, you have to keep going out. You have to keep fishing, and if it's the same mark, I don't care. It's uh, people are enjoying these videos here. I'm catching codlin. Not everyone catches codlin. We're now at February, Sunday the 19th of February. It is now quarter past eight. So time I get back to my van it'll probably be nine quarter past nine and I'll be driving them so I'll get them at about half nine till ten I reckon uh, we'll have to wait and see if that's right won't we but now it's been good I'm pleased you've watched hope you've enjoyed it we've caught another codlin that's 32 codlin stroke cod this year since November well no this year since September so that's good for me it's not the best but it's good for me. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. I've lost my train of thought. So with that, what I will say is, I'll see you and on.
see you anon.